Hello everyone, in today's video we're going to be taking a look at an interesting concept and that is uh, what we like to call the coffin corner or basically a stall when you're trying to turn from your base leg onto final. Now this is an interesting situation because you basically are going to get yourself in a probably going to spin the airplane kind of mode without even realizing it. Let's go ahead and take a look. So we're sitting here in uh, Gardner, Massachusetts. Uh, this is a Gardner Airport, and we're sitting here in a little Piper Warrior. The reason I opted for the Warrior today is because it has a kind of a funny little characteristic that makes it more likely to do this. And uh, we're going to go ahead and show you exactly what I mean when we come around. All right, 60 knots, give it a tug, and we're airborne. Now we're using real world weather today, so if you're probably wondering why those clouds look so imposing, it's because they are really, really imposing. We couldn't go flying today because of these interesting little clouds. Now one of the reasons that we're taking a look at this topic today is, like I said, other than you know just general safety concerns, is that the other time is <laughs> being able to experience things like this in the real world kind of changes your perspective a little bit about some of the things that you see when you um, head back over to the simulator, so to speak, at the end of the day. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and enter into a pretty standard traffic pattern. Again, I'm not going to do anything too, too sophisticated here. Keep it kind of simple. That turbulence is pretty nice, and like I said, we're going to pretend we're just kind of doing things properly and uh, doing things carefully and everything like that. And we're going to show you exactly how this kind of a spin and why they call it a coffin corner. Go ahead and take ourselves an unreasonably tight turn here. Fortunately, these runways are more or less north-south, so it makes it a little bit simpler. I actually had the pleasure of flying into Gardner just the other day, which was uh, kind of interesting because um, over in Orange County, they were actually doing skydiving and it about prevented me from landing at my original destination. So I'm like, oh, well, I'll make the best of it. And we flew over here. And like I said, I was actually kind of surprised. But when I saw this runway, I'm like, oh, this gives me some really, really good ideas for videos to kind of show off some of the different things here. Give ourselves a little more altitude. Like I said, about 1900. And that's good. Let's go ahead and uh, reduce some power here. Now I'm going to create a situation, and you're going to see exactly how this happens. So what I've done is I got myself real close to the end of the runway there. I'm looking down at that 3.6. I'm about at my traffic pattern altitude. I'm looking at a pretty good speed. I'll go ahead and I'll pull the throttle back. Go ahead and pop that first click of flaps in right away. I like the flaps on the Warrior because it's just a giant bar in the floor. Keeping an eye out, I'm like, oh, I'm just a little close to the runway, but it's not going to interfere with my plans too much here. Keep going. Oh, we got a little bit of a wind there. Nothing too, too bad. Going to get close to my 70 knots that I need to approach at. Technically, the book's at 67. Let's go ahead and take my left turn here. And we'll just kind of keep flying. Again, nothing too, too crazy. Bring us around real easily. And let me look at the window and try to evaluate. Okay, so we're going this way. Oh, shoot. It looks like uh, we're overshooting a little bit. Let me go ahead and uh, turn the plane here. Go ahead and start pulling the plane over. All right, I'm getting a little slow. Oh, let me go ahead and give it a little bit of rudder. Oh, my speed's coming up. All right, let me go ahead and pull back out of that. And next thing you know, you found yourself in a situation where the aircraft is now critically slow and you're no longer lined up at the runway. And I'm actually completely stalled right now. So I actually have to recover from the stall normally. But we can see exactly what happened there as well. When I came out of that turn, I said, oh, I got an idea. I'll go ahead and use the rudder to kind of push my nose over in that turn. Uh, when I did that, of course, uh, the nose dropped a little bit. Also, I uncoordinated the entire plane. And by uncoordinating the entire plane, I suddenly found myself in a situation where I could possibly have spun that aircraft right on that particular spot. Uh, fortunately, even though I'd run out of energy, I was stable able to power out of it at the last second. If we try this with a bigger plane, things go a little differently. All right, so now we're in a Beach 36. This is a little bit heavier of a plane. It's going to be a little less forgiving than the Warrior is. And I've set myself up in basically the exact same scenario I had just a few moments ago. So just like before, I'll go ahead and reduce power. I'm going to go ahead and pop down that uh, gear lever because we are retractable in this one. Kind of get the process going. I'm just going to kind of look out the window again, doing what I normally do. Nothing too, too crazy. Nothing too, too excessive here. Just kind of flying the plane. I don't feel like we're getting a little slow. Go ahead and give it a little bit of power. Well, let's go ahead and take that turn. So again, at this point, now we've gotten the plane very dirty. The plane is uh, getting a little on the slow side. We're looking out that window, kind of planning our approach. Oh, well, maybe we want to come out just a little bit wider here. Again, looking at my speed, looking at my speed. Oh, geez, I better turn right now. So I'm going to go ahead and now push that rudder in a little bit. Oh my gosh! And there we have the coffin corner. So as you can see, uh, because uh, we had that lighter airplane with the first one, uh, we had no difficulty at all. But you could see with that second one that because I tried to use the rudder and take the aircraft out of coordination, the moment that the plane had run out of energy, it had set me up into a death spin and a death stall and a death crash. Um, it does not 
take much. And I did not exaggerate that. I actually lost control of the airplane during that time so that you can see just how dangerous that is. So something to be watching out for. Again, your rudders are there to help coordinate your turns. They're not necessarily there to help you on yet for landing. Enjoy.